Well, now, it is no nonsense on Marriage Boot Camp. Our goal is to rip you and your marriage apart, find the problems, and give you the tools that you need to fix them. I've seen it all. I've seen the fakers and the liars and the cheaters and the manipulators. Nothing's going to get past us, so don't even waste it. Well, that was a clip mm. from season two of the reality series that airs Friday nights at 9 p.m. on WeTV. And here to rip us apart. No, no, no. <laughs> Chatting with us on the couch this morning, we have the husband and wife dynamic duo who run the camp, Jim and Elizabeth Carroll. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, by the way, I love it. I love the color. Uh, tell us about the show. <laughs> well, we took a bunch of crazy bridezillas, okay, women that have all these marital problems before they get married, and then they get in relationships, and guess what? Duh, they have problems with the relationship. So they put them in a reality house with us for a couple of weeks and said, fix them. And that's what the show's about. Well, isn't it kind of an easy target? I mean, these people were all on Bridezillas, and we know that they had issues before they even came to see you. It's true. I mean, but it's not that unusual, to be honest with you. We have people who come through our marriage boot camp, our, our seminar, and they've got issues. They've got problems. Before just, they even get married. Well, I'll tell you, 60% of the people who come through the marriage boot camp are either have just filed divorce or on the verge of divorce. And so they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And so it's not really that different for us to work with really troubled couples and crazy couples than it was with the Bridezillas. Yeah, and in that respect, isn't that why the show is connecting with people? Because this is a lot more common than we, I think, want to admit. Exactly. Yeah, it's more than just drama, drama, throw couches around. People are coming into, they're actually learning about their marriage by yes. watching these highly dysfunctional ones and yeah. how we are taking care of those. Yeah. Okay, and now we do want to let everyone know that you're not a psychologist or a marriage counselor. Right. So so how did you get involved with the show? <laughs> well, I, I trained under Dr. Phil when he did a boot camp back in 86 when he was like a, a nobody. Sorry, Phil, I just called you a nobody. Did he have hair then? Was <laughs> Wait, he <a> <laughs> <laughs> did so, he have hair? Yeah, he, well, he had a little bit more. I was going to say he, a little and, bit more of an And he was thinner, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow, you're really in trouble with Dr. <laughs> Phil now. Phil, no, so you trained with Dr. <laughs> Phil. Right. Okay. Okay, and so about eight years later, I was doing just like the Bible study, experiencing God, and it said, where has God used you the most in your life? And I go, wow, he really really used me when I was doing those seminars with Phil and so I kicked one off and then it just grew and grew and grew until uh, TV networks caught a hold of us when Gene Simmons and Shannon Tweed were having problems mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and Think Factory brought us in and said can you really fix these couples and, and of course like, Gene yeah. walked into thing thinking it was just a game and we're just going to play around, but uh, it got real serious real fast with him. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have to ask a, another question. You're both on your third marriage, right? Yes. Right. Yes, now, we are, we've both experienced the suffering and the destruction that happens with families through divorce, personally. And I think it's from that and from that pain and whatnot that we are actually able to build a foundation for what we do. We didn't, we're not like out here preaching stuff that we didn't already have to do ourselves. So when you're seeing these couples, yep. this is like flashback material for you guys in <laughs> previous relationships, right? Well, it's, it's also like for the person who has quit smoking, it's like your tolerance level is like, dude, you can do this. Mm -hmm. We did it. You can do it, too. Because people are like, oh, I'm such a victim. Oh, my gosh, he's so mean to me. No. Change yourself. Grow yourself your marriage will change too. So then is it fair to say that you've never met a couple that you think is hopeless? Uh, no, we've met couples we think are hopeless. Are you really? Okay, really? There, so there, there is one that. on the bride You're villain. kidding me, right now? Really? On right the now. Season. But what makes them hopeless then? Because I'm sure people are watching that may have issues with their marriage. Yeah. What is it that, that they can't make it work? Well, one of the two is completely dysfunctional. He, I'm not gonna say who it is. Okay. But this person would not be happily married to anybody. Okay, and if they can't change themselves, they can't dig in and change self. Then how do they expect a marriage to work? Cause, Amen. Because they would hate to be married to them to their own selves, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Has doing this show together helped or hurt your marriage? <laughs> well, it's helped our ministry. Hey. It's helped the boot camp, and I'll tell you why. Because when we get into a fight. We have two eyes going on it. One is, okay, what do we do because I am so unhappy right now? And number two, gosh, how can we use this to help other people? So we've got kind of two sets of eyes going on at all times. So I can tell you one thing that came out of our relationship is the whole notion of an emotional language and a logical language. Because I was saying, do I look fat in this dress? And he was saying, well, of course you do. You're made of fat. Your butt is made oh, of fat. And I'm like, no, no, no. no, no. Oh, my gosh. How do you okay. even stay married Jim, to this monster? Jim, we have to have a 
Robin's she talking. She is totally, now. that's totally exaggerating. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to fight about this when we get off set. Right yeah, but fighting is well, good for business. That's it. That's it. Well, we appreciate you coming here, Jim and Elizabeth Carroll. Thanks. Thank you for visiting us on the couch. We want to remind everyone to watch your show, Marriage Boot Camp. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All the best with the show, too. Right. Thank you very much. Well,